I've always felt like Quakerism has compelled me to act in the face of injustice. It's kind of been a core part of the faith for me, um, less so about the words and so much more about the actions. Um, for me, FCNL is, is the embodiment of that, um, the embodiment of Quaker action. I'm always guided by uh, the George Fox saying, let your life speak. And for Quakers, the idea of not only holding these deeply held principles, but also um, being compelled to act on them. Quakers instead, I think we take that our church and walk with it. One of the spiritual hearts of Quakerism is a belief that, that God speaks to each of us in one way or another. Uh, and that each of us can, in fact, respond to that. That means not just a uh, personal code of conduct about uh, trying to lead a good life myself, but also how I'm involved in the larger world. There, one of my favorite statements is from the Friends Committee on National Legislation, that we seek a world with peace and justice and community um, that's sustainable around the world. And in fact, that is our statement, FCNL statement. And we want to see a society that is just and equal. To me, Quakers' most unique aspect of their advocacy work is, is they, they listen, they're willing to sit down with those on the other side um, and hear all sides and, and try to create a place where there can be trust built, where relationships can be built. The core of FCNL's work is all about those genuine relationships, all about those relationships based on seeing that of God and the person across the table. The other thing I find very special about the Friends Committee's uh, approach is that it uh, has a very long-term um, perspective, and it's willing to work on issues not just for a month, but for decades. No matter what political area you're, you're living in, but perhaps now more than ever, there is a tendency to kind of despair about the possibility of change. The prophetic vision that FCNL holds up is helpful for me in sort of holding out that, the hope and the vision that we are moving in broad steps, uh, small steps or large steps towards our prophetic vision and that the arc of the moral universe really does bend towards justice. On any day, you could be looking at a thousand ways to spend your time. But if you're trying to be strategic and say, how can my desires for a better world be most clearly and effectively moved forward? then it helps to be associated with a community of people that's also working on that. And everyone's bringing their best mind and their best heart to the work and really looking for the next best, most effective, most fully love-laden action. I guess my advice to those in the future would be um, be patient. Um, change doesn't often come quickly. Um, work for the long term, not just short term victories, and that uh, um, it's going to be a struggle. It can seem idealistic. It is. But there are some practical steps that we can all take if we work together, one little step at a time, sometimes very small steps, sometimes backwards. But if we keep looking at the big picture, and being aware of our progress and our setbacks and keeping those long-term goals in mind. In some ways, I think that's, especially in these times that are difficult times, helps keep me going. So if someone is watching 75 years from now, I want them to, to realize that they've always been people that we look, up, we look up to in the past. They are those who have done the hard lifting and we should never let that legacy go by the wayside. That perfect world, I'm still looking for it. So when I'm long gone, someone please come over and, uh, you know, drop a coin or something on my gravesite and say, Abby, 
We did it. Thank you for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every Thursday. We'd like to thank FCNL for partnering with us on this one. The Friends Committee on National Legislation lobbies the U.S. government to advance peace, justice, opportunity, and environmental stewardship. Founded in 1943, FCNL is a nonpartisan organization that seeks to live our values of integrity, simplicity, and peace as we build relationships across political divides.